Okay, this will be an interesting one. Going at 200 for this. Gonna have a background colour. I'm gonna make it yellow. And the contrast is going full blast. And the copy density gonna go fairly all the, almost all the way but not quite. Let's see what we've got to present. We have here a bow tie styled hair clip. We've done heaps of these before. They're really nice to do. Uh, I'm going to probably put it on an angle, make it angled, make it more interesting as a mirror image if we angle it. I think we're going to leave the dock feeder open even though it's going to probably make the paper curl like mad. Let's see how we go with this. All right, well, that looks nice. It's, you can see the pastely yellow in some of the areas. That looks really brilliant. I'm thinking, wondering where the centre of this job is going to be. I was suspecting it was going to be there. So hopefully the, the toner, the black toner won't die on us or em <laughs> go toner out because I really like what we've got here. It's really nice. So let's see how that goes. There we go. See, I knew this would happen sooner or later. Uh, but, well, let's just change the toner and we'll just have to set the settings up again. So I'm going to put these aside uh, and we're just going to just progress, just proceed to change out the empty black. So it's the black toner or the K. Nice looking display, but Konica Minolta are still shit. I don't like the feel of this plastic junk that they've made into this and it's really quite challenging sometimes to open these cartridges without the fear that you're going to break something so this is this is basically a shit kind of plasticky clicky heavy not heavy but very difficult to i'm just going to put the phone down and shake the toner but basically this is very cheap and nasty kind of functionality here. It just doesn't feel nice like it should. It's not very... If you had a spiritual rating on this kind of equipment, it's next to zero. You don't feel any spiritual warmth or sense of it's beautiful, it's, it's soulful. It's not soulful, it's soul... It's more like something you'd imagine to be soul destroying. <laughs> Trying to change a toner cartridge on this thing is more like soul destroying than soulful. It's not an experience. It's not the customer experience that I like. Um, but we don't have any other choice in this plasticky fuck up world. You know, we haven't designed our own version of the photocopier yet. We haven't got to that stage. So I'm telling you, this is not a really good... Uh, not good for Konica Minolta's uh, image. And now I've lost all my settings, which is really annoying, folks. This is not the kind of thing that... I just don't feel a soulful connection with this kit. I don't feel a sense of warmth. Uh, I don't feel anything positive about how it feels and I'm scared I'm gonna damage the machine just by changing out the toner. It's really, really, really difficult. Uh, 
it's a real, I don't know, I just, I'm not happy, folks, with that experience. Uh, but if, if you guys could maybe leave a comment uh, on this shit, you know, maybe your experiences with uh, Konica Minolta kit. I don't remember if I put in the uh, contrast. I think I must have. But basically I'm just, it doesn't feel soulful. There's no spiritual positive connection, except I feel a sense of evil is involved in the design of these equipments. That's the only spiritual connection I feel is evil, evil sort of people running the company. People like Shoa Yamana, who's the CEO of Konica Minolta. He would have to approve this piece of shit and I don't approve of it at all. I don't like the quality of this piece of crap. Uh, anyway, this looks better than the other two. Uh, I, think we, I think adding the contrast might have improved it. Uh, but basically I'm not very happy with the customer experience of this equipment. It, as I said, no soul. There's no soul in it except evil. Except the evil soul. Like, if you could imagine in this world there's a battle between... An invisible battle between good and evil. Uh, sometimes it becomes visible, like in war and all that sort of stuff. Uh, or when customers end up getting hurt by a product and it has to be recalled. Well, or killed sometimes. You could say that there is a battle between good and evil. Uh, going on in this world like, whether you're aware of it or not it's out there it's happening and you got to believe it folks you got to believe that good and evil is real uh, don't don't doubt it folks uh, and loving money is and the love of money which runs through this equipment is the supreme form of evil and Shai Yamana, the CEO of Konica Minolta, this, the company that made this piece of shit, well, you could say they're an evil company, but I have to still use their equipment because there's not... It's like all companies are evil. All companies are run by evil people in the industry, in the photocopier industry. So you've got to believe there's a spiritual battle, however invisible it is, that there is a spiritual battle between good and evil going on and I've decided to wage war against evil and that includes Konica Minolta and Shia Yamana I have no respect for the company that he runs, I have no respect for him I don't like him I don't like his attitude towards his, his money he loves money and that's it we got to fight it folks so Anyway, we've made this piece of shit do something nice. At the last, at last, the toner cartridge ran out, and now we've got a nice looking image. But don't forget, it's still happening. Good and evil, it is fucking real. Don't d doubt it. Gotta go. Oops. I love you, Luigi, and I look forward to being with you soon once the war is over. Gotta go.